Hi guys, um, so this is just a quick video for Matt 2400 and we're trying to, um, I'm trying to go back and kind of tidy up um, some loose ends we saw on Thursday. Basically we're looking at the continued fraction um, or like a, repeat, a periodic continued fraction like A0, A1 all the way up to AN repeating, okay? And what we kind of, well, what I got stuck on was that if you reverse the continued fra the digits, um, like what relation do you have to the original thing? Okay. Now, ideally, what we want to show is that when you reverse the digits, um, the number you get is the, like minus one over alpha prime, where alpha prime is um, a con the conjugate to alpha. Okay. So in this video, we're not going to prove that. We're just going to prove the following lemma. And we'll, in the next video, we'll use this lemma as a tool to kind of give us this um, characterization of these periodic uh, continued fractions. Okay, so the lemma says that when if you start with a continued fraction, this nearly simple continued fraction, a0 up to an, followed by z, you write it as a plus bz over c plus dz. We know we can do this. Okay, so if you do that, now if you write out the reciprocal one over, reverse the digits and put one over z as the last term, and then you get um, you get another like kind of fraction. You get a plus cz over b plus dz. The key point being that b and c have been switched. Okay. And this we'll use this um, to compare like uh, the continued fraction of like the the reverse kind of the reverse continued fraction of the one we started with. Okay, so let's do this lemma. We're going to do this lemma by induction on n. Okay, so the base case is n equals zero. First, let's write a zero z as a plus b z over c plus d z. So you do a, a zero plus one over z and you get, um, you know, make it over a common denominator z, you get one plus a zero z on the numerator and zero plus one z on the denominator. And you know, that would be like a is one, b is a zero, c is zero, and d is one. Okay, now let's look at um, well, the reverse of this single digit is just a zero, but we have to look at. Oops, you have to look at the following: one over a zero, one over z. Okay, what is that? Well, um, that's just one over a zero, and then a zero one over z is just one over one over z. So that's just a zero plus z. In other words, that's 1 plus 0 times z divided by a0 plus 1 times z. Notice the 0 and the a0 have kind of switched. In other words, um, this kind of verifies the theorem. So if I have, if I write this as a plus bz over c plus dz, so a is 1 a is 1, b is a 0, c is 0, d is 1, then this is a plus c z over b plus d z. Right, so now b is a 0, c is 0, so right. So when I do 1 over a 0, 1 over z, I get um, kind of the transpose c and b have switched. Okay, so that completes the base case. So now we do our, you know, we do induction. So we assume that if I write a zero a one up to a n as a plus b z over c plus d z, then one over a n down to a zero, one over z. That's just going to, it's supposed to be one a plus c z divided by b plus d z. Okay. 
Okay. And now we have to show um, that the same is true with one additional term, so up to a n plus 1. Okay. So we must consider this, so one more term, and we have to write it in this form. Okay, so why don't we use this uh, in order to like write out um, Let's, let's write it out in terms of z using this formula. Um, of course, if you remember from class, you can like do this more directly, like us using uh, the kind of recursion formula for, um, for the convergence. But anyways, this is fine too. So remember, um, we'll write a n plus one comma z, we'll rewrite that as an plus 1 plus 1 over z. And now we have a formula for this. That's just a plus b times an plus 1 plus 1 over z over c plus d an plus 1 plus 1 over z. Okay. Now let's write it in terms of z. And like let's um, first let's multiply top and bottom by z. So we'll get a z plus b a n plus one z plus b. We've just multiplied through everything by z, so I get a b times b times one, and then b a n plus one times z and a z. And I'm multiplying through the denominator by z as well. Okay, and then what do I get in the end? I get um, B plus um, B A N plus one plus A times Z, and then I on the denominator I get D plus um, D A N plus one plus C times Z. Okay. Now I want to reverse the digits, do like one over, do all that stuff, and see and compare my result to this. Okay, so now let's look at one over a n plus one, all the way down to a zero, one over z. Let's see what I get. First of all, that's just one over a n plus one plus 1 over a n down to a 0, 1 over z. Okay, well, I know I have a formula already for 1 over a n down to a 0, 1 over z. By induction, that's just this formula, where the c and the b have been switched. Okay, so I'm going to use that formula now. I get 1 over a n plus 1 plus I have a plus c z divided by b plus d z and now I'll just um, I'll try and simplify and compare it to this and what I want to get is the transpose of like I want a d to be up here and a b a n plus 1 plus a down here so Let's see if that works. So first let's put everything on a common denominator. Then we get a n plus one, b plus d z plus a plus c z. Okay, so that denominator is in a denominator so it becomes a numerator, right? So I get p, b plus d z and then in the denominator, I just cut, I just like will gather up all the z's and all the constants. I get um, a n plus one b plus a plus um, d n plus d a n plus one plus c times z. And what do I have um, now? 
What happens if I switch a D and A N plus one B plus A? I get this. Okay. Okay, so that implies that that um that proves the induction uh the induction step like um if I take my formula for a0 up to an plus 1 with z and switch this term with this term I just get this okay and that proves and then so by induction so the induction step is complete you could say and by induction 